In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we continue our look at the advanced design tools available for you when working with shapes in PhotoDirector. These are an example of some of those you can design. Let's start all over with a fresh one. I've started with a blank transparent layer. I'm in the edit mode and we're going to move to our shape tool on the right. That's the square icon. Again, we can pick between these shapes. Let's do a polygon this time. It's set to three sided. Let's do a six sided one. I'll just draw a big one here. That creates a shape in its own layer here called layer one. What we're going to do now is click on the FX button, which opens up the design tools for the shape. In the previous exercise, we looked at bevel and emboss, border and inner shadow. Now we're going to deal with the last five. The next one is inner glow. When I click on inner glow, it gives me an, an, a group of options. I can choose a color, an opacity and a noise. Let's do color here first of all. And let's give it a glow of blue. It doesn't look like I can find that particular inner glow, but when I click on size, notice what happens. The inner glow starts from the edge. I'm going to turn my bevel and the boss off for a moment. Now you're going to see what the glow does. You notice it starts on the outside and moves in. And the choke determines whether it's very defined and far apart or whether it's close to the outside edge. You can choose a softer glow or a precise glow and that tightens it up. The source can be the edge or the source of the glow can be the center that kind of reverses it. So that's what you get when you work on the inner glow. I'm going to turn the bevel and emboss back on. So now we've got even more effects working at the same time. That's inner glow. Next one I want to look at is color gradient. I'm going to turn that one on. This is an often used one. And when you use color gradient, as we looked at briefly, when looking at a color gradient for the border, the color gradient default is black and white. You can pick from any of the options here, or you can create your own. Let's change the black here. We'll change the black to a yellow. Click on OK. Let's take the white and click on the color and change the white to a light blue, bluish green. And now I have two. I can change the direction of the gradient. I can change the scale of the gradient and the opacity which actually changes it quite a bit. We can add other stops. I click there and I'll add another stop. Let's add a green one. And now you see we have three. These markers here will push between one color and another. They start halfway between two stops. But if you want to make it just a little bit yellow, you notice it moves as I move at, or a lot more green. If you want to remove a stop, all you have to do is click on it and click on the trash can and it will remove it. But when you have more than two stops, you're going to see these other markers. And these markers control the proportion of one to the other. And you can move the stops. You can add lots more stops than two or three. And you can even take a stop and move it on the other side of another stop. So you have all these variations you can do when you're working with gradients. And if you like what you've done, you click Save and then we'll save it up in this area here as a custom gradient. This is just with the first of the five gradient styles. Let's look at the second one. We'll click on that. And this one is a center a radial gradient. And again, you can modify some of the techniques for this one. And the scale, in this case, we'll shrink it down or make it very large. You have a third kind, which is called an angle gradient, which gives you a rather interesting look that goes from the center out. And the fourth one is called a reflected gradient. This is where it looks like things are doubled from the center on out and the left side is the center. And so we have this reflection, this equal distance on left and right as we work with our gradient. And the last one is a star. And again, you can scale the star up or down and move all of the other parameters related to gradients to modify it. 
So the gradients have lots of room for great creativity. And again, to remove any of the stops, you click on this and click on the garbage can. They automatically default to 50-50. So if I change my scale back here, I'm going to get a sharper division between them. So that's a gradient tool. It's very flexible, very in interesting, I think. So let's turn our color gradient off, go back to where we started. You notice that it completely ignores the colors that you have. The next one is Outer Glow. Let me click on this one. This is a glow from the edge of the object outward, as the definition seems to indicate. And here you, you can change the size of the glow. And again, if we're working on choke, it either gets bigger and more defined or smaller and less defined. You can choose a softer or a more precise. And the precise is, is a little more defined. You can add noise to the glow, which makes it gritty or you can dial the noise back. And of course you can control the, the opacity of the glow. So that's your outer glow and you have all these variants related to it. The next one is a drop shadow. Most of you are familiar with drop shadows. This one allows you to change the color. I'll change this to more of a gray color. And the distance of course, generally it'll be pretty close to the object. The spread, again, that's a little bit like the choke, outer and more defined and less and a little more fuzzy, and the size. And the opacity and, of course, the light source. The last option is layer fill. And if you turn the layer fill down, there is no fill in that particular layer. To do some advanced design, you can use these shapes independently and create your own graphic objects, or you can use them on top of a photograph to enhance what you're doing with it in other ways. We're going to show you in some tutorials some specific applications of these tools, but we wanted to survey them in this tutorial for your edification.